Pope Francis met with members of the Dicastery for the Laity, Family and Life on the occasion of their plenary assembly. In the meeting, they reflected on the role of the laity and their ministries in a synodal church. The Pope told them that there are certain ministries that the laity can currently carry out, but he also warned them against pigeonholing the laity into those roles. The Pope said that it is worse when a layperson thinks that this is their only mission. Io mi arrabbio quando vedo ministri laici che, scusatemi la parola, ma si gonfiano di fare questo ministero. Questo è ministeriale, ma non è cristiano. Eh? Sono ministri pagani, pieni di se stessi, no? Pope Francis stressed that a layperson is not merely an altar server, but is entrusted with the important task of bringing Christian values to the social, political and economic world. He specifically emphasized the need for the laity to help migrants and to fight against the new forms of poverty. After his homily, the Pope went out to St. Peter's Square. He greeted many pilgrims who came to Rome for the beatification of Armida Barelli, an Italian woman who lived in the first half of the 20th century. She was a leader of Catholic Action, the co-founder of the Catholic University of the Sacred Heart, and two other institutions, the Secular Institute of the Missionaries of the King and the Society of the Kingship of Our Lord Jesus Christ. Pope Francis reflected on Blessed Armida's vocation as she decided to consecrate herself without going to a convent or monastery. La consacrazione secolare è paradigma di un nuovo modo di vivere da laici nel mondo. Diceva San Paolo VI, se rimangano fedeli alla loro vocazione propria, gli istituti secolari diverranno quasi il laboratorio sperimentale nel quale la Chiesa verifica le modalità concrete dei suoi rapporti con il mondo. Armida Barelli's beatification was originally scheduled for April 30, 2022.